going on guys welcome back by the channel appreciate you stopping by today my name is will and you're at ww mods and today's video is going to be a uh, product review video uh and i've thought long and hard before i have decided to go what you would say electric because you can see behind me moved into a new location and uh, this is yard behind me and i don't have my current riding lawnmower i have a john deere and it's a little bit too big for this yard so i'm gonna downsize this a little bit and i'm thinking about going to a 42 inch cut greenworks all electric zero turn so i've never had an electric riding lawnmower and like i say i've really battled with this and i've, I've tried to look on youtube and try to find some uh videos of this particular model and i really can't find any so i decided after thinking about it that i'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger and get the lawnmower and i'm going to do a review for you guys and give you my honest opinion on the cut the performance all around do i like it or do i hate it so guys stay tuned we're gonna go get a lawnmower all right, guys, we've made it here to James River Equipment, and it looks like they've got our mower already sitting out waiting for us. All right, as I said, we were going to go pick a mower, and we went and picked up a mower. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about it, and I just want to go ahead and say that I'm not sponsored by greenworks or john deere and i paid for the equipment myself and no one has paid me whatsoever to make this video and give my honest opinion so let's take a look all right looking over the front of the mower you can see we have headlights which i probably will never use but then a tow and hitch in the front come around back got the basic panel raise and lower the blades control arms adjustment on the seat the seat is very comfortable by the way um come around over here to the back they say this is a 200 pound storage capacity uh basket or whatever you want to call it and has a max towing capacity of 300 pounds the mower itself is pretty much Like this, has a stamped deck, one piece stamped deck with a, um, when you plug your uh, water hose up and clean underneath the uh, deck. It has two USB quick charging ports. It has uh, armrests on the, uh, on the seat as well does have on the front wheels here these are pretty good size beefy wheels here and they actually have grease fittings on the wheels and grease fittings here on this uh, I guess you would call it uh, an axle of some type the one advantage to the mower well here are the advantages to the mower you have no gas no oil no filter, no spark plug, uh, no belt, no maintenance. So I guess that's the one thing. But then the one thing that you do have, you raise this seat up here. This is a pretty, pretty hefty construction on this seat. I'll have to give it to them on that. Um, look up here and you raise this and this is your battery compartment. Uh, it has six batteries, 82 volt each. Um, you reach down here and you can click it and it'll pop loose pull it out if you want to uh, then you take it and slide it back in until it clicks you can push on the top of the battery and it'll give you a uh, notification now i think this mower has some type of uh, wi-fi app that you can do with uh with this particular unit i don't know i'm gonna have to read some more of the instructions to see but basically that's it 
when you get on the mower, well, before I get on the mower, you're gonna have uh, your speed drive and it's in slow automatically. You press this button here and it puts it up into high or sport mode, whatever you wanna call it. Blades high or low as far as the speeds that the blades are running. Your digital display on your batteries and in your key stop, headlights, and start run position. And to get the unit to come on, you have to sit on the unit, sit in the chair, reach back over here, take your key, put your key in, and hold it for about three seconds. The display will come on, you'll hear it beep, then you can quietly hear the I don't know if you can hear them or not. You hear the fans running. But the the uh, the mower's on. And if you pull it off and uh, see it's very, very quiet. Of course, I can't hold the uh, phone and, and do the uh, driving all at the same time. But as you can see the display here, this turns your blades on or off. You pull it up. Blades are on now. You can hear the uh, difference in the sound. That's low blade. That's high blade. See how it lights up. Uh, normal speed. Sports mode. So. I'm going to uh, get off here. Put this phone down. And uh, get ready for some mowing. But I guess let's see if you can hear it. I guess it's some kind of fan to help keep the batteries cool. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, let's uh, do a little practice driving with it. And uh, maybe I won't tear anything up. Alright guys, here's uh, sports mode. Boom! As you can see, much faster in sports mode. I don't think I can mow with it that fast. I got too many bumps and ruts and so forth in the yard. Uh, let's see what the headlights look like. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys with the rest of my mowing of the yard uh 
If I had to say this mower reminds me of uh, the bumper cars at the fair. You know how quiet they are and then they're so responsive. This is a very responsive and solid feeling lawnmower. Uh, I've mowed the whole front yard except for the ditch out there, which I don't feel confident in doing just yet because be my luck, I'd pull it out there and get stuck because you know how zero turn mowers uh, love the ditch. But it's only at 99% and I've, you know, done the whole front yard and it's bigger than the backyard. So I'll probably use a whole 5% of the battery capacity to mow the yard. So. With all that being said, would I recommend this mower? Yeah, I would recommend this mower. I like it. It's, it's nice. I like the responsiveness of it. And you just can't, it's, it's strange how quiet the mower is. I guess that's the, uh, the, uh, the one thing that I would have to say is, is different. The mower is just so quiet and uh, it feels very solid. I'm very impressed and uh, I had a John Deere uh, tractor mower uh, X350. Had no complaints with that mower uh, but it was just a little too much for this yard as far as being able to turn it around. Uh, I haven't gotten quite used to the driving of the uh, zero turn but I'm sure I'll catch on but turning of the X350 it just it just was not feasible to mow this yard with uh, with that type of tractor so anyway uh, I don't know if they make a smaller version of this I looked at the uh, Ego riding lawnmower uh, but it was more expensive the Greenworks was cheaper uh, I guess if I had to say anything about If I had to say anything about what I would, would say is a problem with this mower is that uh, you can't charge the batteries while they're in the mower. The Ego mower lets you charge the batteries while, uh, while they're in the unit. Uh, this one you can't do it, you have to take them out. But uh, I'm going to finish mowing, read some more of the owner's manual. Uh, like I say, they're supposed to have an app for this thing, and I'm not sure exactly uh, what it is or what it does. But uh, I will look at it when I get ready to uh, wrap up this video. And if I come across it or know what I'm talking about, I'll share it with you guys. But guys, uh, I like the mower. It feels pretty solid, and uh, i got to go finish the yard. So, time to get busy. go. Time to mow. Well guys, like I told you, I was going to check and see if uh, the mower had an app, in which it does, and it gives you uh, the last cutting area was 0 .01 acres. Uh, the mower's been running for uh, 37 minutes. You do battery information, and it tells you uh, total cutting was 1.6 acres and we have 35 minutes of cutting time left. Of course, I've been playing with the mower and driving it around a little bit, trying to get used to the way it handles. But as you can see, it shows you all of the uh, battery cells and their temperatures and how much power they have left. It also will show you um, Let's see, if you click on settings and positions, it gives you vehicle status. You check on vehicle status and it gives you all green on, let's see, the two mowers. I'm sorry, the two uh, motors in the on the mowing deck are green. And both the uh, main and secondary drive motors are also showing uh, green. Uh, let's see. Cutting statistics, uh, I don't know how to work that yet. 
um, battery information again it just shows you the battery compliance um, let's see what else it'll show <laughs> well all systems are go is basically what it says position it gives a uh, GPS location of where the uh, mower is located so I guess if you try to steal it you can always track it with the uh, GPS if the mower gets hooked up to uh, Bluetooth somewhere but that's a pretty neat little app I thought anyway guys time to put everything up I've done got the uh, mower washed and and if you're asking if you're if you're curious yeah I do own an electric push mower and I own the ego push mower 21 inch of course you know I like to keep my equipment clean so I do wash it off after uh, each use so yeah I've got an ego battery push mower and the Greenworks battery zero turn all right guys that's gonna do it I've got to do some cleaning up I gotta put some stuff up because here are uh, the battery chargers that came uh, with the mower like I say that's the only drawback I have with this mower you cannot charge the mower while the batteries are in it so but seems like a minor problem we'll get over it uh, I really like the mower I was very impressed and uh, you should uh, maybe give it a try if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on a uh, on an electric mower uh, I have an electric weed eater now which is ego I have the ego push mower now I have the Greenworks uh, riding mower so guys give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it like and subscribe and like always I'll see you on the next one